Good afternoon. Yep, sounds like everyone can hear me. Um, I wanted to very, very briefly talk about um, industry, where we are. Uh, as Tim says, I usually give a bit of an update. Just before I do, I wanted to ask a question of you, if I can. I've written the word feedback on the, the start of my presentation. Um, we had some feedback at the 100th conference, and that was really helpful for us. As you know, we're experimenting with some aspects of the, um, the things that we cover, and so what we want to do is have your feedback. So two people have got Kindles, and they will be coming around during the um, cocktail or mocktail um, session. So Carol here, who's got one, and Katie on the show. Well, Katie, you've just seen. So please give your feedback to them. So they've got these Kindles. They'll ask you some questions. You'll say cheers and we'll get some great feedback. So that'll be ever so helpful to us, so thank you very much. And it's, it's all about how we make sure that things are relevant for you. And um, uh, hopefully you'll be taking away at least 5% sort of useful stuff and maybe 50% useful stuff. Please tell us what was the useful 50% and what was the, the less useful, so that'll be great. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, introduce myself. So there are a few people who are new here. Um, I'm gonna have introduced myself, so Neil Osmond, um, I am uh, primarily a member of the um, SPA committee and very uh, pleased and proud to have been part of the committee for a number of years. Secondly, I run my own business called NOAA, <coughs> as Tim indicated. So NOAA is um, three things that we do. One is executive coaching. Um, the second thing that we do is marketing services. And the third thing that we do is market research. Tim was talking about America. Um, I've been very lucky through um, a, a, a number of, um, of years have to have the opportunity of working in America because we do market research for the corrugated industry in the globe. So we reproduce reports every two, year, two years for ICA. Um, we also have the privilege of um, working with the European corrugated market, FEFCO, the organization, and we also work with the European carton um, uh, organizations, which is called ECMA. So we collect statistics on European paper packaging and then we also um, undertake work in the UK and collect statistics in the UK. Um, and nearly. <laughs> so um, we're going to go with we go with these. Yeah. Okay. So next one, please, Carol, if I may. That's good. Okay. So I have shown these um, slides before. So this is what 2018 looked like. And just to remind you, 2018 was plus 3% growth in the UK, with a plus 2% at the beginning, plus 4% at the end. So really grew phenomenally. Um, we've had the benefit of oh, 2017. In 2018, we had the benefit of plus 3% growth continuing. We had um, scarcity of paper in people being inventive and creative in using recycled paper and s switching it away from craft paper because people like Amazon were using so much of craft paper, etc., etc. So then what I want to do is be able to, so notice the line, straight red line. So that is 2018. So if you can do the next one, Carol, that would be great. So 2019, what was 2019 like? According to the statistics and according to what I hear from people, um, a, a real seesaw year. Um, I remember talking to somebody who's in the, um, <coughs> at the carton industry and I said, what's been the biggest um, issue for you? He said, Brexit. I said, in what way has that affected you as a carton supplier? He said, I have plus or minus 10% on my sales line every month. He said, I'm not used to that. And I was really interested to see that the red is where we were below the previous year in corrugated, and the green was where we were above. So I would say that in corrugated terms, in the UK, we've had a bit of a seesaw year as well. Maybe not as um, uh, as extreme as the carton industry, but pretty extreme still. Now, that's what the statistics say. You will say um, wh whether that was the case, but that, that's what we're um, showing. Um, by about um, here, it looked like the year was no more than about plus half a percent growth versus 2018. And by here, you can see that year to date looks like about plus 1.5%. So we seem to have had a bit of a boost at the latter end, the, the, the last um, quarter or so to October. That's what the industry says. Don't know what, what um, uh, people in the room are saying, whether there's a bit of nodding heads going, yeah, yeah, it seems a bit like that. Um, but it does seem to have been a very a, a volatile year. Um, and the plastic agenda hasn't really um, hit. Speak, Carol. Um, 
so yeah, growth 1.5, half flat. Oh yes, Europe. In all of this, what's happening in Europe? Well, Europe seems to have suffered very... Europe. We are Europe. Good Lord. We're still Europe, aren't we? Another few days. Um, so corrugated manufacturing on the mainland of Europe um, has been flat um, and in fact has gone backwards last year. So the negative growth in corrugated in certain countries, which in... And um, Luke was talking about, and, and Nick Mocker was talking about, you know, these things in the last 25 years. I've, n I can't remember negative growth in the corrugated industry in the 21 of my years, 25, 30, all right, 35, of years of the corrugated industry. So mainland Europe's really suffering. In the UK, for us to be at plus 1.5 percent, pretty good. So. Um, I think some of the, so, so talking with people and saying, so how are they handling that? Um, softening of paper prices, they're saying market's flat, but what we're trying to do is make sure we're holding on to margins and focusing on prof, uh, gross profit. It's really interesting. If I was here t um, 10, 15 years ago and said, oh, what's your gross profit like? They go, what? Whereas now, salespeople on the road, in my experience in sheep plants, understand the gross profit that they get out of customers. So the sophistication now of, of the sheep plant market is such that that word, that phrase, gross profit, is understood and that people are, are um, being a bit more um, responsible, a bit more mature, a bit more sensible and working hard with their customers to try and make sure that they, everybody is benefiting at the moment. But yeah, it is, it's, a, it's definitely a, a change year. Um, opportunities here, good. Obviously, not watch out for that. Um, and I think the, the, my overarching um, understanding is that people are starting to get to grips with this bit. And uh, I know um, Andy was talking about pizzas and the pizza market. And we know that there's been a replacement, an early replacement of um, EPS with corrugated. And there are products that are being slowly substituted. But I think things like ticket is a great opportunity to be able to raise the awareness of the benefit of paper as, as, as Steve was saying rather than the negativity about throttled turtles so I think you know there's there's a sort of an education side of things which will precede us seeing corrugated um, expanding hugely in um, as a result of plastics last one yeah I wanted just to pick up on this final thing we were saying about the agenda that um, uh, that Tim really is, has been pioneering for every conference and particularly this conference um, is very important to us. Another thing that's very important for us is we have increased our membership over the last five or six years and so instead of a room of 20 people, and I remember being in a room of 20 people, we're over 100. That's great. So we've got new members joining us, so new individuals who held their hands up earlier. That's great. What we also want is we want new corrugated sheep plant members. So if you know somebody who's close to you or you know of an organisation that isn't a member, perhaps is new in the last five years, we'd very much like to know about that organisation. You may go, oh, they're a competitor close to me, but I think anybody who attends this benefits from the networking, and I think the networking outweighs the fact that somebody may or may not be a local competitor. We would appreciate knowing about some of those people that, that are local to you and encouraging them to join. We want more new members. Uh, if you can read this, um, sorry, it's in red. We would like another 10 new members to join us, uh, sheet plant members. We've got um, 43 converter members. We have a lot of supplier members, but we particularly like some, some more um, sheet plant members. That's the, 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 the clarion call. And that's it for me.